everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a homeschool show and tell. The homeschool show and tell is an open collaboration hosted by Abby from Rooted and Rest and myself. The goal when we started this was really just to showcase the fact that there's not one right way to homeschool, that there's tons of ways to do it and still do it in a way that works for your family. So each month we bring homeschool YouTubers together from around the world and we pick a topic and we all share our version or our take on that topic. This month's topic is homeschool spaces and I am beyond excited because that was probably, is probably my favorite video to watch, like homeschool room tours, organization, seeing inside. Um, I absolutely love House Hunters and all of like the HGTV. So I love the homeschool version of it. I'm super excited to see everybody's this month. So before I show you our homeschool rooms or spaces, I want to say you don't have to have a dedicated homeschool room. You can have your dining room table and a homeschool cart. I know that that's really popular and I could totally see how that would work. Um, you can have a homeschool closet. You can homeschool in the car. There are tons of different ways to homeschool and have very little to no dedicated space for that. And I want to say that mainly because what you're going to see when I show you our homeschool room and our homeschool spaces is that we do have a lot of space. And that is mainly just because we were able to use um, a like sunroom that was built onto our house and make it a dedicated area. So that is the designated homeschool space. It's where we store a lot of things, but it's not typically where me and Emily sit to do our homeschool time. In fact, we typically sit right here, which is our dining room table area. So I'm going to kind of let you get a deeper, better peek at that and then show you our homeschool room. And again, if you want to check out all of the homeschool rooms or spaces that are going to be featured in this month's homeschool show and tell, make sure you check out the link in the description box. It's going to have the playlist for all of them. You're not going to want to miss it. This is the dining room where we do the majority of our schoolwork. To the right is our homeschool room. Directly behind me is the kitchen. And to the left is the living room. So that's the table where we sit at most often. And then over here, we have an antique dresser that houses a lot of our supplies in the drawers. We have two bins. The bin on the left is our currently our picture books for our book in a game a day challenge, but it's typically unit study picture books. To the right is any kind of books or curriculum or resources that I'm currently using with Emily. And then we have some cube shelves. On the left one, we have our reference books. And then in that basket down below are all of Emily's math manipulatives that she enjoys. Across the top, we have two containers that house all of our pens and markers and color pencils. And then two art drawers that house our chalk pastels that we love. The container right there has our planners. It has our journals. It has some of our mail time, a timer for Emily. And like I said, this one has some curriculum stuff in it or resources that we use. On that top cubby shelf over here is our Mail Time Monday box, file folder games, and then in the basket down below are all of my kind of odds and ends. And then I have an extension cord that hides under the dresser uh, for our laptops. <music> Here is another angle of our dining room homeschool area. And then through those double doors right there are the homeschool room. And this is what the homeschool room looks like when you come down here. You will start over here. This wall houses the majority of our games. In the upper left is where I keep all the games that don't fit on the cube shelves. On top of the shelves are photo boxes that house all of our dice and card games. The trophy system, the gray drawers over to the left, are all of Emily's random toys. 
And then the game shelves are sorted with math at the top shelf, language arts at the second shelf, science and art at the third shelf, geography and history at the fourth, and then just fun family games at the bottom. This corner is our reading nook. Kevin built those bookcases or boxes for me because I wanted something that was easy and different. Um, and this house is the majority of our books. The bookshelf to the left is all of Emily's books. The one to the right is majority of our read alouds. And then we move in to Kevin and Emily's workstation. So they have a mirror image of each other. Um, they both have their drawing boards and their own drawers to keep their stuff. Kevin has a cart to the left for some of his work. Next, we have our Geography and Science Center. We have our continent boxes and our globes, all of our history and geography books. Then over here, we have all of our microscopes and most of our science reference books and some of our nature finds on the windowsill. That door goes out to our screen porch. That's why our nature finds are right there. This is Emily's maker space. That's where she keeps most of her Legos and building blocks and any other kind of block building type of thing. And then that window um, opens up into our kitchen. So it's really nice to be able to look down here. And then the last thing in the room over here is their science kit. So this is where Kevin keeps all of their science and STEM boxes. And then we added a little folding table that is plastic and easy to clean up for some of those harder messes. Um, and then that way they can sit across from each other when they're doing it. So. Here is a look at this end of the room from a distance. Here we go. Well, there you have it. Those are the two main spaces in our home that we homeschool and that house the majority of our homeschool things. I hope you enjoyed getting to see them. And if there is a specific area that you would like to see in more detail, let me know in the comments and I will add it to my to-do list.